All right, guys, Pello Fort here, and today I'm going to teach you how to make one of those intros I made for my Let's Play Empire Total War Poland Lithuania. So, here we are. This is the map I used. You can find it online by searching Empire Total War Map, but in theory, it works with any other kind of map you want to make. If you just want to use a country map, I would recommend finding a map that's broken down by county because then it looks more real and it's been like oh I'm gonna conquer modern day Belarus with one fell swoop stuff like that you know you gotta make it believable or something but here we go um, have this ready then what you want to do is go into paint uh, I'm in Photoshop with the other stuff, just to let you know. And uh, is it Control Plus to make it bigger? Because the flags you find on the internet are sort of small, and you're going to want them to be bigger. So create a new layer, and paste that in there. What happened to my old layer? Okay, that's not good. Let's see here. Um, there we, no, 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 let's go here, oh man, I screwed up big time. This is what we wanted. Okay. New layer. Post that in there. And as you can see, what it might look like at a different opacity, something like that. So now what we want to do is get another layer. Bring that down here, below layer 1, the flag, and we want to put a gradient. Anything will do. Just make it look cooler instead of just a flat background. Okay. So now, what we do is we click the layer with the map bring out our quick selection tool and oh I'm not doing Poland I'm doing Austria so we just select the territories we want and then before we do anything we move over here by the layer and click layer one and then we copy that Take this off, take this off, so it's just the gradient, and we paste right there. So now we just have what we start as, as a flag. It's just the bare minimum. So now press Control Shift E to merge, Control A to select all, Control C to copy. Post that in paint. Hold on. And we're going to save as um, create a new folder. We'll title it Austria. And it'll be no one. OK. Now we go back, press Control-Alt-Z a few times. And bring visibility back by clicking on the little I. I don't know if you saw that. Let's say next Austria conquers. No, not all of Ottoman territory. They get Bosnia, Saxony, and Galicia. 
So now we click back on layer one. Control C. Take visibility off. Paste it. Select it all and copy it. Put it in paint. Oops, did not merge. I forgot that. If you don't merge, it won't turn out right. Control Shift E. Control A, Control C. Ah, paint, come on. As you can see, it looks like it grew. So now we click Save As, No To. Now we go back and, um, okay, we're back here. Deselect everything. Ooh, wait, no, I forgot to control Z first. Okay, now we're ready. Let's say Austria did a lot. They got, um, Prussia. Pol they took Poland all. Oh, that's so sad. They got all the Ottoman territories, and also Bavaria and Venice. And let's just say, for the heck of it, they got the Rhineland, just to show something weird. And I think it's important to get the strange territories down here and whatnot. And heck, they got Denmark, too. Why not? Okay. So now, we select layer 1, copy, take visibility off, paste, merge, select all, copy, paste and paint, and save as, no 3. Okay, now... Heck, I'm ready to just get this done. I think you can understand where we're coming from. We select, um, we control Alt Z to go undo stuff several times. They take all of Scandinavia, Finland, Russia, Ukraine, Netherlands. They're just taking everything. Now, one thing that is pretty hard to do is getting Switzerland isolated. Good luck doing that because I don't think you will get that. I couldn't get it. They took France. See, Switzerland becomes part of them now. Turkey. Georgia for some reason. Don Viosco. Egypt. Tunis. And hex Sardinia and Sicily too. England and Spain with the Balearic Isles. I'll leave Portugal. They're allies or something. We can find an excuse. Now we copy. Take visibility off. Paste. Looking good. And now we merge. Select all. Copy. And put in paint. There we go. Now we save as. No four. All right. So now is when we want to go into Windows Movie Maker. Come on, you got this. We import pictures, not from my B folder, Austria. There we go, one, two, three, not copies, Jesus. Import, one, two, three, four. Now we bring them down here, and what we want to do is slightly drag them over the top of each other like that, and we can put a song to it.
we're gonna have to drag them over each other more because the pictures are lasting too long if we don't. All right, let's see what this is like. Taking too long for me. Okay, so now is when we zoom in and we refine everything. We want to make the clip shorter. Come on, get shorter. Come on. Oh, the life of a video editor. Get shorter. And now we, we don't want to do too much. It's better to keep the clip short and sweet. And we clip the music here. And let's see how this turns out. It's a little jumpy, so we didn't merge enough. That's what it looks like when you don't merge enough. So now is the fine tuning phase. Let's see that. Audio clip and start from the beginning. I like that better. All right, so that's how you make one of my intros. Feel free to emulate that, copy it. I actually did not take this from another source. I just, I sort of created this method I guess somebody might have done it first, but, you know, I just used my knowledge of Photoshop and knowledge of Movie Maker, and I put them together, and this was the result. So, take from me, learn, do it yourself. That's what this is about. I want other people to be able to create and use what I have for their purposes and it's just nice you know see you later guys this is Pelo Fort